Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful granny square with heart inside. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna be using yarn, simple soft yarn in two colors, pink and white. And size G crochet hook. You can use any colors you like and any crochet hook. Let's begin in the middle, then we're gonna crochet the heart and granny square. I'm gonna start with the magic circle. If you have trouble crocheting magic circle, you can start with chain 5 and join in the first chain to make a circle. And then chain 3 to begin. 2 double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And last chain two, three double crochet, chain two. You can close your magic ring, find a third chain from the bottom to join. So remember we start with the chain 3, then we made 2 double crochets, chain 2, 3 double crochets, chain 2, 3 double crochets, chain 2, 3 double crochets, chain 2, and we join in the third chain from the bottom. Slip stitch in the next chain. Chain one, eight double crochet in this corner, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, chain one, slip stitch in the next chain two space, chain one, then you have three double crochet, find a center. So there's two double crochet and there's my middle one. Two single crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, two single crochet.
So in the middle of two double crochet, you made two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet. Chain one, find next chain two space and join. Chain one in the next chain two space, a double crochet one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain one, and join here right in the middle got your yarn we're gonna use a second color in my case it's white so we made a heart So turn upside down, make a slip knot, remember at the bottom we made chain two, uh, we made two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet. Now we have to find that chain one we made. and in the back loop only so there is our stitch so front loop and back loop in the back loop only join the yarn and we now gonna work see that's how we started we just join white yarn and we gonna work only in the back loops so see front loops we don't touch all the way and i think it looks very beautiful when we only work in the back loops so in the next so see there's a stitch we usually work like this both loops on the hook now we're gonna only work in the back loop make a single crochet in the next half double crochet double crochet and triple crochet oops yarn twice triple crochet so we now gonna make our first corner chain two and then next make double crochet but remember back loops only half double crochet in the next then single crochet in the next four then 
three, four. So we're gonna make second corner, chain two, and single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Half double crochet. See where we joined right there. We need to make a half double crochet in that spot. Then I push a little bit so you can find this stitch. See, it's hiding right there. There is a small stitch. We're gonna make single crochet back loop only it will be hard but don't give up okay and single crochet in the next three one two three if you crochet correctly you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stitches left chain two for the corner then make four single crochets one two three four then make half double crochet in the next and double crochet in the next chain two for the corner make triple crochet so yarn over twice in the next triple crochet And the next double crochet remember back loops only in the next half double crochet and in the very last one single crochet and join So if you stretch a little bit, it's gonna turn to a square. Next round, chain three, and the same stitch to double crochet. chain one three double crochet and chain two space so we can make a corner one two three chain two
and in the same spot three more double crochet one two three so here is our first corner chain one move stitches a little bit one see there is your first stitch second third and in the fourth make three double crochet so one two three in the in the fourth second and third chain one now we're gonna make a corner there is your chain two space three double crochet two three chain two in the same space three double crochet There you go. Chain one. Then you need to find, see we made half double crochet. So we need to find the top of that half double crochet and crochet three double crochets. So there it is. It's hard. So make three double crochet, one, two, three, chain one, find your next chain two space, three double crochet in that space, one, two, three chain two and three more double crochet in the same space one oops two three so we made a corner chain one so push a little bit so there is your first stitch second and in the third make three double crochets one so see if you push a little bit you can see that stitch one two and in the third second third chain one find your next chain two space your corner three double crochet one two three chain two in the same space corner three more double crochets one two three chain one and join in the third chain from the bottom so this is how it looks like if you take and stretch a little bit it's gonna start looking more like a 
square, like a grainy square. So there we go. Join in the next chain. Next. And join in the chain one space. Chain three. One, two, three. And make two more double crochet in the same chain one space. One, two, chain one. See that corner? We chain two, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two in the same space, make three more double crochets. Second and third. Chain one, find the next chain one space, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, next chain one space, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain one, find your next corner, three double crochet, one, two, three, Chain two, three double crochet, one, so we crocheted one corner and second. Continue all the way around, don't forget to make Chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all the way around. So I'm here at the end. Don't forget to make your chain one and join in the third chain from the bottom. your yarn so that's how it looks like make it a square shape so now we're gonna use our first color make a slip knot Choose any corner you like, join, make chain three, two double crochet in the same corner. Chain two. Three double crochet in the same chain one, find the next chain one space, three double crochet. Chain one, next space, 
free double crochet second and third chain one next chain space three double crochet chain one and here's our corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain one and continue all the way around three double crochet in chain one three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain two three double crochet and see you at the end i finished my square i'm here at the end don't forget your chain one and join in the third chain from the bottom cut your yarn there is your granny square you can wave in the ends i made three granny squares i'm gonna show you how to join so you can make a blanket a pillowcase a tote bag a cardigan basically anything they so bright and beautiful you can join uh, them together either with white or pink pink will be invisible because it's gonna match but i'm gonna show you with white as a contrast so you can see better so make a slip knot so this is your inside this is your front side and front side so you put them two back sides together so we're gonna join in the back loops only so remember in the corner we made chain two we're not gonna use this chain but we're gonna use this chain back loop only and same thing here chain two we're not gonna use this chain but we will use this chain so see one chain belongs to this side another to this side so join go through both loops so i'm gonna show you closer so back loop only of the square and back loop only of that square slip stitch so if you hold it like this with the finger inside it's very comfortable so back loop and back loop slip stitch don't make it too tight so here's my back loop now 
don't forget to join your chain one spaces two This is how it's coming out. You can leave it with white, which I give very nice border around each square. Or if you want to make it invisible, you can make with the pink. Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe if you like my tutorials. Like and write a comment. Thank you and bye-bye.